Hey, I'm KIC. Thanks to C Corp Technologies for the keyboard used to play today. If you ever wonder why I keep saying all that, it's because of FTC requirements, I think. I don't know, FCC, whatever. Anyway, welcome on back. I am getting ready to turn on some stuff. So we got a chemical mixer going on into a flow splitter, which goes to all these, well, rather way too many belts that theoretically feeds into chemical dryer number one, chemical dryer number three, and if I turn these bad boys on, oh, uh, this should work. It should work. The only thing I'm not sure about is this right here. Okay, good. They do appear to be feeding in without any problem. I was a little concerned about that. The best part about all this stuff is when I'm doing these sorts of things, oftentimes I don't bother to test it. I just do it live. Well, live to video. You know what I mean, right? So yeah, we're just, we're going to let this go and see what happens. Theoretically, you should be splitting stuff out into either of these guys. I mean, it looks like you're spitting out different things. Okay, that one looked fine. So, gun cotton and you, uh, do you, uh, 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 let's change you to gun cotton. My goodness, there we go. So, theoretically, these guys should both be spitting out, am I not? spitting out the right thing here. Nitrocellulose, gun cotton. All right, good. So, uh, theoretically, this is working. We're getting gun cotton, and then the best part is they're ejecting uh, not quite into recycle bins because my recycle bins are actually slightly off. I forgot. I had to move everything over by half a meter, and I missed. Oops, my bad. Uh, there are a bunch of rounds right there. I'm going to just pick those up. I'm going to have to have more dispensers to things. Anyway, see, look at that. It's like this guy is all messed up, too. I uh, I got a bunch of just browns caught right there. I, I don't even know what we're doing here. I'm going to have to get a dispenser going to get this thing set up right. In fact, what what is this particular line right here? You are 9 millimeter. What do we have in our resources for 9 millimeter? Lots of extruded, lots of punched. So, theoretically, I could eject my punched over here. Problem is, I actually need to get those out through that to heat and cool. So, my punched are not going to do much, but I could add another... Here, let's just grab a dispenser. I have these guys all over the place. It's lovely. It's one of my favorite things. I just slap them down wherever I need one, and I end up with way too darn many of these. Let's do some 9 mil extruded. Where are you guys? 9 mil... Nine mil. Nine. Nine. Go this too. Nine mil extruded. There you go. Just eject them right on into that pile. That's that's going to be just fine. Theoretically, they're going to do everything they need to do. And they'll make it over here. This should be speeding up fairly shortly, I think. I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. We'll just let that eject out. And then we got to go over to this dispenser right here. And we got to eject some gun cotton out of this guy. Where where the crap would you be if you were gun cotton? Can I not do this? Oh, crap. That seems like that could be problematic. I've got a bunch of gun cotton. Can I not output gun cotton? Hmm. I thought I could do gun cotton. That's going to totally blow up my, my plan. Well... Darn. I can do everything else. Why can't I do gun cotton? That really screws with my plans. Like, no joke. Ah, oh, man. Can I do a chemical dispenser? Will that one work? Is that what I need to do? All right, where's my chemical dispenser? Can I output gun cotton? Well, I mean, that's... No, that's a dryer. Never mind that. Uh, where, where are my chemical dispenser at? Nitrocellulose. That is your only choice. Wait a minute. That's not a dispenser. My goodness. Select output. There we go. So we need a chemical dispenser, not a regular dispenser. Ooh, I don't know that that's going to fit. Where's my chemical dispenser? Um, crap. That doesn't fit. Well, that's 
That's unfortunate. Is there any way I can squeeze this in somewhere? No. Okay, so then. Hmm. My, my, my. Apparently I have a problem. I did not plan this very well. I was thinking I could get away with a standard dispenser. Obviously, that is not the case. Lesson learned. Regular dispenser, not okay. Chemical dispenser, okay. Well, well, fooey to that. Let's... Why are you... I've had this happen before. Or these guys don't want to pop out very quickly. So here, can I... Are you ejecting fast enough? You should be. There you go. You should... You should be going down. There shouldn't be... That shouldn't be going up. Because these guys should all be going into there. They're going into the former. And they're going into this thing. And... Uh, no, they're going into this guy. Which is sadly waiting for a bunch of gun cotton. Both of them are. I mean... The 22 has stalled and the 9 mil has stalled. I don't know what to do with this now. I mean, I guess what I really should have done is I should have changed all this guy around, too, because this is kind of problematic. I bet you're waiting on... No, you're not. You're you're actually fine. Okay. Wow. That one's still waiting. Wow, my goodness. Even though it's got, uh, what, six punchers and etc. going on? Six, eight? I don't even remember. Okay. How am I going to solve this? I have limited space... I still need to have shakers and a bunch of other things in here. So if I take the flow splitter... Man, I, I, I can't do it. I mean, really, the flow splitter is where it needs to be. It needs to be right there, which is... Well, okay, it needs to be a little closer. It needs to be right there-ish. It still needs to be moved half a meter. But none of this stuff can move because this is as jam-packed as it can be. So apparently what I have to do is move this, all of this, about a meter backwards. So let's do things the right way. Let's turn things off from back there. We're out of materials anyway. You're... I hope you don't lose everything when I decide to move you. I won't be surprised if you do because that seems to be my luck. Even though I don't necessarily feel like that's the intention that you're supposed to lose this stuff. It sure feels like it happens to me. Alright, so if we move this guy... Something like that. I don't know that... I mean, that really didn't buy a whole lot of... A whole lot right there. So then we would need... Cat, we would need a one meter belt. Right there. By the way... Let's see if I can do this. I have I have one cat right here. And I have alternate recording cat over here. So standard recording cat, alternate recording cat. There you go. They're not usually allowed on the desk, but... Ah, whatever. She's being quiet enough and minding her own business that I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna kick her off. It's okay. So, my question is, can I... Ah, oh my goodness. I've got to move all this stuff. And I just need to move it half a meter. This is, this is where I am just dying for something that'll let you grab everything and move it. All at once. A little lasso, if you will, to select everything. That would be... That would be nice. That would be much nicer. Very nice. Sehr gut. Bitte schön und danke. That would be great. Thank you. I really don't think this is going to be enough. Let's try to cram a chemical dispenser down there now. Nope. Oh my. Does that actually fit? Oh! <gasps> That's amazing. If that fits, and if it works, that is amazing. 
Amazing, amazing, amazing. Let us try. Here, I'm just going to turn all this crap back on because... That, you know, why not? I, I got to make sure this stuff works. So, theoretically, this is all lined up, etc., etc. I know I need to move that one. There you go. I know, this guy still has some, some stuff stocked up. So, I think that'll be okay. Now, the question is... Can I change your output to gun cotton? Turn you on. You're going to go into a flow splitter. And theoretically, you're going to eject this stuff at a fairly rapid rate. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, kitty. Look at this. Look at this. We got bullets being made again. Hey, how come I... Oh, crap. I got to take care of some orders. I Right before I started recording, I took care of some orders. Just in case you're wondering. We've got to take care of more because the shelves are just jam-packed full. I'm trying to find orders for folks who are kind of in the neutral-ish territory. That way I can try and rebuild. And I know, I basically took the same order here. Let's do... Let's do that one first. We'll catch up on that one, I think. I hope. I mean, now that all this stuff is working again, the boxing machine should be getting a variety of different ammunition making its way down. Oh my god goodness. This has just been a nightmare. Not because the game makes it so, but because I just screwed that up way too much. Here, let's buy... Let's just buy 200 of everything. Yeah, I know. Let's buy 200 of that, too. Why not? I know. It's not going to matter. This is the one thing I was not sure about. That looks totally fine. We'll let you guys rip away. Rip away. So easy for me to say. Ejecting gun cotton left and right. I mean, we've got, look at this, hundreds of boxes of ammunition just waiting to be processed. That is actually super excellent. That's going to make it possible to get caught up on some orders. So that means at this point, then, our production is looking pretty decent for the most part, by the way, just so you know. Oh, she moved. I, I was going to show you my cat walking by, but she moved, so never mind. Standard recording cat is still chilling with me. Alternate recording cat is like, nope, I'm out. I don't remember if I ever added everything to this thing. I Look at that, I sure did. Do I have... I don't have a line control for this guy, so I'm not even going to sweat it right now. That's just not worth it, I don't think. There you go. Cat butt. What you doing? Hi. She's just chilling. No worries. She's good. So, I'm feeling okay about this stuff. I'm not saying this is good. I'm not saying this is final. I'm not saying everything is perfect. I'm just saying it's okay. I've got a bunch of stuff. Man, are you kidding me? Let me find some more orders I can fill. Uh, backpacks, vests, and gloves. Sure, that'll empty out some shelving right there. Now I need more vests. We got to go work on the vest machine. That is actually next on my list, believe it or not. I think I'm just going to have to blow the whole thing up. Guys, really? You're going to sit here and... I mean, what are we doing? What are we doing? Look at that. There's a hundred trousers. We'll get those. Never mind the cats swinging at each other on the right side of your screen. Oh, come on, guys. Really? This is, this is what we're going to do? Apparently, this is what we're going to do. I'm still looking for more orders we can fill. We're not doing NATO. I say that, I mean 556, of course. Just to be clear. Just to be clear. That's basically everything. So we got to get a couple of these guys back up to at least neutral, which won't take too long. I mean, basically a couple orders and they're back to neutral. But problem is everyone wants 556 now. This is what happens, it seems. Like you, you start making one thing and then, you know, everyone wants something else. Like this, haven't even researched pistols. And yet, that's what they want. It's like, really, guys? Come on. Come on. Are we... We're not getting any additional vests. What's going on here? Did you run out of materials? You ran out of plastic fittings. Oh, holy crap. I didn't even think that was possible. Wait a minute. How is that possible? You should be turned on. Oh, oh my gosh. That actually ran out of plastic fittings. 
I, wow, holy cow, all right. You can't output plastic fittings, right? These guys, you're not making, you're powered off, you're powered off. Okay, just making sure. This guy still has like 7,000 plastic fittings in it. It's stupid. This is what I have to blow up today. We've got a thousand vests that I'm going to lose, I suspect. Because they're not over here as, well, okay, maybe they are. Well, 2,500 of them are. So I've got guys, really? Here, you're, you're taking up too much time or too much, too much space. So I need to find out a way to cram. I mean, I guess what I could do, we could do this kind of the cheap way for right now. Let's do... Uh, what are these guys called? We need a merging machine, so... Let's do a merging machine. I think what I can do... Is put it right here. And then I should be able to belt this guy up. I'm not sure how this is going to go. I'm just going to try it because I'm moderately insane that way. And then what do we have over here for plastic fittings? You see, this is this is where I kind of want to redo my entire my entire thing here. I want to just set up some. Oh, okay. All right. So this is what I want to do. I want to get rid of all these guys, all these plastic formers and all that. And just have one thing set up that uh, basically, I mean, here, let's just, let's go ahead and create it right now. So we're going to do a dispenser into a heater, into a plastic former, or where am I looking at? Plastic former into a, oh shoot, what was that one under? I think it was a line start and end under into a recycle bin. So here we go. We're just going to do some plastic fittings and output. You need to output plastic blocks and just go. The idea here is that we can basically eject a bunch of plastic fittings into the recycle bin, which is just going to put them right into... It helps if I turn that heater on, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. It sure does. You're going to eject these straight into the recycle bin, which if I come over to this guy... Somewhere in here, we're going to have plastic fittings. I have no idea where, because I cannot seem to find them, but I know we have them. There we are, 112 of them. So, great. Here's the next plan. We get... Uh, I think I have a free dispenser, so let me go grab... This guy, you should be done. You're not. I don't know why you're not done. I feel like I'm missing something here, like... That... Hmm. Like, why is that not working? Those should have caught up. I mean, I caught up on my... Uh, whatever it was that I did. I did this with some other product line, some other bullet line, and it caught up. So I'm not sure what the deal is. I feel like I'm missing something. I mean, there you go, you're... You should not... Like, you should get down to zero is my point here. I, I don't know what the deal is. All right, let's take this dispenser. We're going to put you over... Let's see, let's do it like this. We need to make some space here, if you don't mind. And then we're just going to grab... This right here. And we'll just get you right up there and close and personal. Don't worry about it. Get friendly. And then we should be able to do one more of these guys. One more one meter belt. Uh, crap, I cannot quite make it. That's going to be a problem. Because this guy cannot be moved over more. And this one can be moved back. Okay, perfect. Perfect. I end up buying so many one meter belts and spending so much additional money. It's kind of silly. So what I'm going to do for right now is take, where are those fabric vests? So we're going to eject all of those guys. So we'll go ahead and do that. We're going to select plastic fittings from this guy. Where are you? Plastic fittings. We'll just turn these on and then we're going to output camo vests. Turn that on and let's see what happens here. I need to fill some orders again. How about that? 
Yikes, I cannot fill any orders. There's something I can fill just to clear off some shelf space. There we go. I have cleared off shelf space and immediately filled it. Oh my goodness. So many things I cannot sell. I just need more space. I think that's what it comes down to. I might have to go put some shelving on the walls or something. Just to just to make space for now. This is this is dumb. Like as soon as I fill one of these orders, it's instantly just like, nope, we need more now. Here, can I fill those guys and will that let me it doesn't quite get me close enough on that one. Alright, well, it was worth a shot, because I paid zero attention to it. Here, let's fill that. That's a bunch of boots and stuff. We'll we'll catch up on the other stuff. There you go. We caught up on, on the vest, just like that. Vest, boots, oh look at that, 280 boots. Perfect, that's going to free up a couple of boxes worth of space. I don't even know what all we have stocked up at this point. Tons of gloves, apparently. I might need to turn off the glove factory. We'll go ahead and get rid of some trousers. I think I might do that, actually, turn off the gloves. Yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much good right there. Most everyone just wants ammo and that sort of stuff now. The great part about all of this, and I mean it, look at that. 580, 537,000. I, I can't do math. I'm just going to fill up my shelves immediately again. Whatever, it's fine. So theoretically, this guy is working okay. You're... Are you spitting out camo vests? I feel like you aren't. You should be getting fabric vests in there. Am I not outputting the right thing? Fabric vest? I mean, is there... Am I missing something? Okay. Well, I know I've, I'm, I've run out of materials, but... Aside from that... Here, let's just buy a hundred of these, a hundred of these... And here, a hundred of those. Let me go back. I mean, maybe I'm missing something on my fabric vest stuff. So... Oh, I bet they need to be zipped, don't they? They need to go into a zipper. Oh, shoot. Okay, stop this. You stop that. You stop this. All right. No problem. We got this. I said stop. Feel free to stop any day now. I forgot I need to go through one zipping run. I think it's just one, right? Cutter and then the zipper. Okay, perfect. So that's fine. We we got this. It's no big deal. Except that does not fit right there. That's that's slightly problematic here. Can I can I just do it this way? Because I I just don't even care at this point. I just want it to work. Perfect. Okay. So then I need to get a cutter. No, I need a zipper. Where's my where's my zipper? Um, no, you don't fit right there. I thought you would. Now do you fit? Why Why don't you fit? You're slightly off kilter, that's why. Well, how about that? That's, um... Not cool. That's not cool, man! That is so not cool. Nope. I know. I didn't actually need to do that. My, my bad. Eh. I don't know if this is gonna work. Why are you... Why don't these guys match? This is dumb. This this doesn't make sense to me. Why why would you make it so they don't line up? And now you will fit. Okay, apparently I just had something in the way. It's going to say, I can't imagine that doesn't work like that. I know I I I have it set up to work on the other one, so it's got to work. And now I need more power. So let's go put some more power in the corner over here because this is this is my go-to. Here we go, more power. Turn the merging machine on. Outputting two vests. So theoretically, we should have just vests and crap and gloves galore 
just ripping through everything here. I hope those all counted. <laughs> this is quite the pileup I have going on. This is awesome. I like it. I mean, I don't have any room to stock any more stuff, so I kind of have problems in that I can't actually fulfill any orders here because, uh, you know, minor details and all here. How about that one? Trousers and... 22. Here, let's... Let's grab those guys. Is that going to give me enough to fill that one? Perfect. All right. That's excellent. And then, theoretically here, let's go over to this side. There should be a bunch of ammunition over here. Not entirely sure what all that'll be, but let's see how are our order's doing. Really close on that guy. That's great. That's actually not too shabby. So I think with that, we are going to leave this one. Uh, we've done reasonably decent work today. Not not my best. Not my finest hour. Uh, but also not my worst. I mean, I, I did end up fixing some things, but... Other things are still uh, very slightly horribly possibly broken. Look at that. We can get rid of this order right there. Boom. That's going to be a good 42 grand. Torpheus. Enjoy that one. We're still neutral, so it's all good. It's all good, and I will continue on with this one uh, at the next episode. At some point, just so you know, the game is going to crash on me. I mean, I see when the, the closer I get to being at like 30 frames per second, the more I worry it's going to crash. And you can see we're down to like 34, 35 frames. Now, picking some of these guys up might end up helping because... I think what happens is there are just so many random things lying around. It kind of, I don't know, it's doing physics calculations on stuff or something. I'm, I'm honestly not entirely sure what it's doing. But just the same, the game will crash at some point, and then I'll probably have to call it a series once that happens. So just fair warning when that happens, because it's actually happened once already, and I was able to recover it. Um, why do we have... A pile up right here. Here, can I turn that off? I, 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 I. I'm not sure why there's a pile up right here, but whatever. I, I guess that's in the way somehow. Okay, so noted. Well, on that note, I think I'm just going to have to leave things where they are and hope against all hope that things work out successfully. There you go. Will, will, will that please you now? Does that please the jury? Are you able to throw crap in there now and output all the things that you're supposed to be outputting? Because that's some silly talk right there. I'll catch you on another one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.